But now, this is a proof by contraposition. What, um, what were the steps for contraposition again? There were two? Two steps. Swap. Yeah. Yeah, it kind of likes converse, yeah. Uh, and then negate. negate both of them, very important, right? And the idea was it's like a double negative equivalent. Like you're not changing the statement, you're just rewriting it in a different way. The reason why that's good is often they'll ask you to use a proof by contribution, but you can identify when you need to use it because remember how you, in the direct proofs they said, oh, there's some condition for n and then do something with that. Like the first one I gave you was like, oh, if n is odd, then show that n squared is odd, right? What do you notice over here? Yeah, it's the other way around. So they're like giving you an expression and then they're asking you to tell them something about like the barrel that's inside there. So this is where contraposition is useful. It's the same thing. But what you can do is you can swap the implication, right? Yeah, it is sick, right? So if we have p and q, we're basically saying gun p, gun q, sorry. I, I you can write the bar for more. <laughs> not Q implies not P, right? So what's not Q? Or N is not even. So if N is not even, then what's the um, negation of 5N plus 3 being odd? Well, 5N plus 3 is not odd. And obviously with these ones, with odds and evens, we can write them differently. What's something that's not even, that's just... Yeah, it's just odd. And what's something that's not odd, Maggie? Oh, you got it. Extension 2, crushing it. Easy. Okay, so how do we go about doing that? Um, well, we've done odds before, right? Angus, what was the condition for odd? So let n equal to... 2k plus 1, again k is an integer. Yep. Yeah, proof structures, man. They're, they're very pedantic. And then so we want to use 5n plus 3. So 5n plus 3 would then be equal to 5 outside of 2k plus 1 plus 3. And again, hey, what options do we have here? Expand. So that'd be 10k plus 5 plus 3, you do? Let's group some like terms. Well, what are we trying to do? We're trying to show that this is even. You reckon this is even? Factorize. Be prove beyond all reasonable oh, doubt. Yeah. So what do we want to take out? We take out the factor of 2. 5k plus 4. So 2 times something is always going to be even. So, hence, uh, what am I doing again? 500 plus 3 is not odd. I, yeah, uh, again, I'll double check that. I think from this point, it's okay. You don't have to write that statement out. I think that. The market should see that and be like, yeah, they know what they're talking should about. We also write about even or not odd. That's just to try to make it clearer. Again, like I think it's fine to write n is odd or n is even here. Yeah. Not too bad.